Hey Aquarius, welcome to your general read. I'm doing this in the time of the Libra full moon and when the sun is moving into Aquarius. I'm picking up lots of great new beginning energy for you guys. When I was shuffling, we did have the Six of Cups fall out, so I wouldn't be surprised if people came back um, during this month and during the retrograde or your emotions or feelings was pulled back to somebody from the past. We have the Knave of Swords, so definitely looking into somebody here, <laughs> um, maybe a little too closely. <laughs> Um, but, um, yeah, just somebody looking very closely, shall we say, at, um, you, or you looking very closely at them. This could be like, in this deck, it can be like, um, an enemy outside of a relationship looking in and spying on you guys. Um, if you are in um, a relationship, um, this could be somebody um, maybe causing trouble from the outside, trying to enter your relationship. Um, I feel like you may be quite vigilant. You may be watching to find out if there is somebody else or trying to gather information or they're trying to gather information on you as a couple. The death card. So maybe um, some inf you gathered some information that brought around an ending here. It is also about new beginnings and transformations and we are in that transition period now where we're leaving things um, from the past and wanting to go forward. You know, it is like spring and we have the equinox and Aries. So, you know, there's all this forward movement we're getting here. So there has been an ending here because somebody found out some information or some an outside party involved themselves in your relationship king of pentacles here so this indicates that a relationship will only find happiness when both people are putting energy into the situation um it's a waste of energy chasing somebody who's not putting um you know the same energy into you takes two So maybe that's why, um, you know, it was brought around. Or even if, you know, somebody outside a relationship stepped into a relationship, then it takes two people to do that. You know, um, you can't just blame the third party um, looking in. Maybe you're quite angry at a third party with this death card. If you look at her in this deck, it's about um, somebody scorned and quite angry um so if there was a third party that stepped in um this speaks of you know understanding that only one person had loyalty to you and that one person as well needs to put effort and energy into a relationship if you know you're willing to put the energy in they need to also put the energy in here the tower so yeah could have been quite shocking this ending to you um and that's why um you know we see like a third party situation here we see it in the tower as well we see three people So we see it ending, 
And I feel like you're making yourself very distant here. The Ace of Swords. But there is like that thin thread, that invisible thread that binds you here. So I feel like although there was an ending and it could have been a permanent ending with the tower and the death card here. Um, so, yeah, we see you um, still like binded to this situation, maybe holding on to some negative feelings here about the situation. Or they are. The star card. And the knight of swords. So I feel like this was your truth. You was very truthful in this connection. Um, with these cards. I feel like you believed in this connection. You dared to dream. With the star card. That's what I'm picking up. That you believed in this connection. And this is why you may be furious right now with this death card. Feel like, you know, you're speaking your truths here. Um, I don't feel like you care who hears, but is the truth that even though this ended and you was extremely hurt, you're still feeling that connection between them? Do you still want to communicate with them with the Ace of Swords here? Three of Cups. So you do want to maybe reconcile with them. You could just be really angry at them at the moment. You know, this Six of Cups energy that I picked up on, the memory of it could be like infuriating you of what actually happened because you believed and trusted so much in this connection. And like I said, I was picking up even though... You could be angry here. I feel like there's still something that ties you together. Maybe you haven't learned the lesson from this connection. Many different things because it's a general read. But um, it's like you could just be want to know the truth. Want them to actually start talking and start communicating why this went down the way it did. Temperance discontentment here you know filtering your love in this um deck this card is about needing to find um that balance between um being angry and wanting answers which is understandable you know, it's, it's completely understandable if somebody's caused you that much pain and swore to you that this is what they wanted and this is the truth here. Nine of Wands. So, you know, wanting to be able to sit down with this person and talk it out. Wanting... This situation is suspended. So I feel like you're not with this person. You know, it, like I said, it can be a permanent ending um, with the death card and the tower card. And it were destined to permanently end with the star card as well. You know, you are going to get some higher learning from this. But I feel like that doesn't stop you wanting answers or even wanting to unite with this person right now though this situation is on pause it's suspended it could be resolved it could be but if it's not resolved quick enough um i see this being over forever. Six of Wands. 
This speaks about successfully overcoming spiritual lessons here. It was an extra card. I don't even know why I kept shuffling. But it's probably to tell you, you know, this was a lesson here. And I feel like it speaks of the connection growing apart. You know, with this beginning came an end here. And I feel like you're really going to be forced to look at that with um, the moon being in Libra. And it's super moon and this six of cups energy and this Mercury retrograde. And you're really going to be forced to look at this situation you know, the six of wands is about seeing things as well here. So I really feel like you're going to be forced to look at this situation. It could be making you quite angry. You could be causing other tower moments because of anger. But like I said, for some, there's a chance of um, possible reconciliation. But... I feel like the anger is bringing your guard up here. So for those of you who are feeling anger, um, your guard is way up high and you're ruining, if you still feel that connection, a chance to reconcile with this person because the only way it's going to be resolved is if it's resolved quickly. It's a good luck, Aquarius. 